how to add shopping cart button on Google Sites. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add shopping cart buttons for your Google Sites website. So in this example, let's say here, you are going to make a checkout page for your product. In this case, I'm having like a, an album checkout page. So here are my three albums and I'm going to tell you not one, but three ways of how you can add a button. So like three styles of button. Okay, so let's delete this section real quick. Okay, now for starters, of course you need a way of making a checkout page, right? And a good way to do that is to use the romancart.com service. So romancart is a website that you can use to make a checkout for your products go ahead and check them out they're great okay so let's move on okay moving on the first step that we need to do is add a text okay so the three button uh, styles are texts buttons and an image okay so the first one being a text this is very straightforward now uh, what I do uh, to make these uh, three album uh, that I have over here is the content blocks. Go ahead and click this content block if you want to make these uh, sections. You can also make them as a redirect page to go to another page if you want. But in this case, I'm using them for my, well, album presentation. Okay, so now under the template over here on the text here, I'm just going to type in add to cart or listen now. I think listen now is a better one because it's a call to action. Okay, now this text, we will add a link to our Roman cart. So to do that, just go ahead and go to your checkout page in Roman cart and control, control copy over here. And let's paste the um, website of the Roman cart over here to the text over here. Now, what we want to do is to click the text and click link over here, insert link. Now, once you're done, uh, go ahead and just paste the link. And now, you, yeah, you can add the text, but we've already added it, so we don't, we don't have to. Okay, so let's click apply, right? Now, uh, this link, I think we need to edit it. I think we need to add the text. Listen now, like that. All right, now you have yourself a link. Okay, uh, like a normal text, you can change the boldness, the if it's italic or if it's underline. I think I wanna scrap the underline over here. So let's delete the underline and I want it to be bold and I wanna change the color. Let's change the color to like blue maybe. All right, so there you go. Okay, so now the next uh, method is to add a button. And to do that, go ahead and go to the rightmost menu in Google Sites and click button over here. Go ahead and click the button. And when we are prompted to insert a button, it's the same process as previously with the link text. So the call to action is listen now, again, the text that will be displayed to the website and the link will be our product page. Okay, so let's click insert. And now we have ourselves a button that redirects to our checkout page in Roman cart. Now we wanna move this here, right? So what you can do is to just click and drag the button and put it on the horizontal bar under the title over here and release your click. Okay, so that's as simple as that. Now, you can edit the button to your liking, uh, but in this case, I'm just going to uh, move on. But you can edit your button over here. You can make it filled, outlined, text, but if you choose text, then this just defeats the purpose of the uh, text that we have uh, made earlier. 
so I'm just going to stick with filled right now because I think it looks the best. Okay, now lastly are images. So an image is is better for you if you wanna like make a more uh, flashier button, let's say, because we can find uh, images of a button in the web and make it our button. So to do that, go ahead and go to the rightmost menu again, and let's find images. There you go, images, uh, select. And now you can upload your own image or you can search Google images. I'm just going to search Google images real quick. So I wanna find like a listen now button. Now, okay, so Google, will look for images that you can add to your website. So you don't have to uh, download it manually and upload it again to Google Sites. You can just do it straight from here on Google Sites. However, I don't seem to find any button. Let's see, but let's find button PNG. Okay, now let's see uh, music. Let's find music. All right. Oh, there you go. Okay, so let's say for example, I want to choose uh, maybe this button over here. I think this looks pretty simple. You know, to make it more clickbaity, like maybe they will think that they can listen to your album, but what it does when they click it is that they will be prompted to buy your album. Okay, so that's the idea. Okay, let's wait for it to load. It will take some time depending on your internet. Wait a minute. I think that's not the picture that we clicked. But anyway, once you've added your picture, you can resize it. I recommend you to resize it. And, you know, ideally choose a wide image, like a horizontally wide image. Because, again, it's uh, for a button. Okay, one... Okay, so when you're done, again, click and drag the image and move it to the horizontal bar over here until you see the horizontal bar. Okay, now this image we can turn into a link by simply clicking on the image. And once you can find this button, go ahead and click it and add your link and click apply. So there you go. That is three ways how you can add a button in your Google Sites. Okay, so let's preview it. Now, there you go. See, a a text that links to a Roman card, a button, right? Or a picture that if you click, you can go to uh, the Roman card. Now, pro tip here, alternatively, you can make this image itself as a link. So you see, this is like the same as adding the image button over here. So you can just, uh, so maybe on, on mobile that's better because the visitor of your website can just click on the image of the album and it will redirect them to your Roman card. So there you go. Thank you very much for watching.